you know, I just cried my lash off. So if it's hanging, don't mind me. I'm just looking like New York on that boat on that episode of Flavor of Love. everybody if you saw my rainbow try on haul then you know that this is the second half of that i decided to break up the rainbow and romwe try on hauls into two separate videos so here is part two featuring the romwe clothing if you haven't seen the rainbow video obviously go check that out because obviously you like you a good deal so watch this one check out the rainbow haul video and enjoy Okay, first I want to note that when I got my package, like, Romwe and Sheen have no shame about you knowing that they are the same company. Because a majority of my things, probably about 80-90% of the things I got were in Sheen bags. A lot of them have Sheen tags. So they're very clearly the same company. However, I've heard that Romwe may be a little cheaper than Sheen. How long that's gonna last, I don't know, cause the more the word gets out, they'll probably raise their prices as Fashion Nova did, as Sheen did. Romwe will probably do it eventually too. But yeah, if you plan on shopping at Sheen or Romwe, you might wanna price compare, see if they have the same stuff. I don't know, I haven't looked myself yet, but uh, there's a little tip for you guys to check on. So up first for Romwe, we have this gray t-shirt dress. Now this dress is pretty comfortable and very stretchy and you can wear it in three different ways. You can just wear it straight, you can um, pull the drawstring on one side to get that ruching effect on that side, or you can do it on both and get the ruching effect on both sides and have a shorter dress. Um, this gray dress is really cute. I probably won't be wearing it this winter, but um, when I shop, I just buy whatever I want. I don't care about the season. Got this, really cute, we'll be wearing it one day. Up next, we have these jeans. So with these jeans, I bought a medium and a large so I can see which one fits. I don't know what Ron Lee's return policy is, but hopefully I can send one of these back. I didn't even remember that I got two different sizes. I thought they were two different jeans and I looked at them like, these are the same, why did I do this? Then I saw they were a medium and a large. But anyway, these are like a dark wash denim. These are skinny jeans and they have this little fringe at the bottom, the kind of cut off bottom with the little chunk taking out the middle. They're pretty cute. I tried on the large first and it fit pretty well. It was a little space left in the waist, which is not abnormal. They were a pretty good fit. I tried the medium, not so much. So yeah, definitely the large jeans for me. Up next, I have this cute little white crop top. These are not real buttons, which you know, again, why would you need them to be? But they have the tortoise, I don't really know if this would count as tortoise shell, but it's something like it. Um, that's the, the design of the buttons. But cute little crop top, I like it, I love it, I'm glad I bought it. Up next we have another crop top, obviously I'm big on the crop tops. When am I gonna stop wearing crop tops? I don't know, I was in LA for four and a half years, that was all I bought. I came to the East Coast and was like, where the hell am I gonna wear all these tank tops and crop tops? But I make it work, cause you know, jackets. So I have this crop top and it has this little zipper so you can wear it zipped up or zipped down. It has this little faux turtleneck situation going on at the top. Um, exposed seams. That's part of the design. I think this exposed seams, is that like a, a fashion design term? I don't know. But I think it's really cute. Once again, it's giving me like some late 90s, early 2000 vibes for some reason. It's cute. Up next, this is really giving me some early 2000 vibes, like the earth tone, the patches, like this was definitely a thing around that time. This is another crop top, long sleeve. This is really soft, really comfortable, stretchy. Now with this one, the forearms were oddly snug. It wasn't uncomfortable. I didn't have a problem getting my arms in it, but just, it's just something I noticed. And my forearms aren't like big at all. Overall, I like it. Cute, cute. Up next, I decided to step out the box a little bit and buy me this little corduroy number. So yeah, I had this kind of color blocking corduroy top. Now this is the type of thing I feel like you can't just, I mean, you could just throw it on and maybe it'll be a look for somebody. I don't know. But for me, with something like this, um, 
I prefer to like kind of jazz it up. With this shirt, I actually just threw it off my shoulder, rearranged the buttons accordingly, and then I rolled up the sleeves and I felt like I was doing something. I don't know, you tell me, I thought it was cute. The only thing about this shirt that I would um, do differently is get a bigger size. I probably would have gotten a medium, maybe even a large just because looking at it, I expected it to be like an oversized type situation but apparently it's like an accurate size type situation. I thought it would be like baggier and bigger, but um, I'm happy with it. I'm still gonna wear it and rock it. Another 90s number, of course it comes off the hanger. I should have buttoned this up, is this little shirt jacket thingy. I think this is really cute, I love it. As soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted it. It also has kind of this color blocking thing, but with the plaid, this is something now, I could just throw this on and just wear it as is. I think it's cute as is. I love the sleeves and the fact that they have this like little puff going on, whatever that's called. If you don't wanna just wear it regular, you could also throw this off the shoulder, button it accordingly, and I feel like that's a really cute look too. Basically anything, when in doubt, just throw it off the shoulder. Up next, I have this very basic uh, cardigan sweater. I don't really know why I bought this. It doesn't look bad, it's just very basic and I'm not sure what made me get it. Blue is not like a color I'm big on. Um, but I mean, when I put it on, it was really cute, I'm not gonna lie. It was cute, I like the way it looks. I do like being able to throw on a sweater, like just whenever, whether I'm at my desk working or you know things like that. It's good to have something like this. Uh, and I don't think I have this color, so. But yeah, it's cute. I think what I like the most about this sweater is the sleeves. Once again, that kind of puffy sleeve, sleeve, that kind of puffy sleeve look, I think is really cute, so I like that. Now we're about to get into some tie-dyes. First we have this tie-dye crop top with the wrap detail down at the bottom. This is so cute, I love this. It's something I could wear every day and look like, you know, I actually tried that day. I'm obsessed with tie-dye in general, but something about this color, like the, I don't know if this is blue or like a gray. Another crop top, it's so soft, it's so soft and stretchy, love it. Up next, more tie-dye with vibes. Now this shirt obviously was meant to be baggy, so I'm happy about the size. What size did I get? Yeah, so this is a small, so it's obviously meant to be baggy. Once again, I love the tie-dye look. Um, I thought the vibes was a nice little addition, something different. I can throw some color into my wardrobe, which I rarely do, especially when it comes to blues. I thought it was cute, um, something I could throw on with like some jeans, just like a casual day type thing that looks like, once again, I really tried. The only thing that was kind of, it's not an issue, but it kind of threw me off. This fabric is like a Under Armour like workout type fabric or something. I don't. It's stretchy. I was expecting. I was expecting like a cotton t-shirt, but this is like. It's not again. This is not an issue. I just you know something I noticed. So it makes me feel like they just printed the tie dye on this fabric and then stitched it together which is fine, but it just threw me off. I thought it would be like a regular cotton t-shirt. However, it does give it kind of a cool sheen. I like it. Up next, I have this super long t-shirt dress. I'm pretty sure it's a dress. It's supposed to be a dress because it's really long. It has this little dragon on it that I thought was cute. I didn't notice that it said feel the burn at the bottom. Kind of weird, but okay, I'll go with it. Um, I love the color. Again, I'm obsessed with tie-dye, so. Same deal, um, and also this has the white inside and it's the same fabric as the last shirt, so that was kinda weird, but I think it's cute. It's, again, this is something I would throw on. I probably won't wear this in the winter time at all, but in the summer, definitely. This is definitely giving me like some LA vibes. Like I can see some kids out in LA with this on with some like chunky looking sneakers. Just, I don't know. But I think it's really cute and I love anything that's super comfortable. I can just throw on and go and it looks like, again, I tried that day. Okay, now we're about to get into the sets. And just like with rompers, the issue I have with sets is a lot of times these companies sell them like the top and the bottom together and don't give you the option to choose different sizes for the top versus the bottom. Big issue for me because again, I'm small at the top, thicker at the bottom. So I usually have to choose like, do I wanna go bigger to make sure it fits my butt, my thighs and all that stuff? Or do I wanna go smaller to make sure it's not super baggy up top and looking crazy? 
usually I try to settle somewhere in the middle. If I'm familiar with the brand, then I already know what works for me. But this is my first time shopping here, so I don't know what the hell to do. I got a small, that was a bold choice. I got a small, um, mainly because of the top. Like it looks like if you get the wrong size, it's gonna be really big. And then when I got it, it still looked really big. So I was thinking this is gonna be too baggy and I'm not gonna like it. When I put it on, it actually fit um, pretty decently. I don't know if they have an extra small, but I definitely would have preferred it to be just a little smaller. As for the pants, it's weird. I guess because I'm not used to tie, like black tie-dye. Like I don't really know what that looks like. Um, but I think it's cute. But the top being like so black and then the bottom being tie-dyed just kind of looks like they go together, but they don't really go together. Like it doesn't look like two things you would think were sold together. But they were, and I thought it was cute, so I got it. Because I got a small, I was concerned that these wouldn't fit, but they actually fit pretty fine. The only, the elastic, the elastic, like it, it was fine in the moment, but I could tell like if I had one good meal, it will probably start to hurt. It will probably be a little uncomfortable right in this section. Other than that, they fit pretty well. Like they're good in the butt area, the legs and everything else. Probably because they're sweats and they're a little looser. Um, Cause otherwise, this probably wouldn't have worked out. All right, so this next set of course is tie dye and it literally looks like the sky. If you wanna walk around looking like a cloud, this is the outfit for you. It's long, it's comfortable, it's loose. I really like it. I can see myself lounging around in the house with this. I can see myself running into the 7-Eleven in this. I love it. I do feel like it's a little thinner than the other um, tie-dye things, but um, it works. I actually kind of like that because sometimes you're not really cold, cold. You just need something on your skin to like protect it from like the little drafts in the house or something like that. So it's a good outfit for that. Up next, we have something a little different. Um, it's another set though, and it comes with these little booty shorts. Um, my cheeks is hanging out a little bit with these. They're a little small. As a matter of fact, I think this set is a size small. I looked at this top and immediately knew that it was too big. And not only was it too big once I put it on, but it was like bubbly. Like it had this weird, like it was poking out kind of weird. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that. Like, why is a small this big? It's not right, and that's sad because this is like the whole reason I bought the outfit is because of the little red dragon. This is what made it cute. But I mean, I'll probably wear it around the house, I guess. The shorts are still nice. They're not the most comfortable, but they're not uncomfortable. And it does have like, it has the elastic, but it also has real drawstrings. Now granted, I don't really need these drawstrings because the elastic does make it, you know, fit fine. Which I kinda feel like, why do both? Like why not just do the drawstring? Up next, I have this all black number. I could immediately tell that this is gonna be super comfortable. I like that it has the sweats at the bottom and the tank top at the top because your girl sweats. Um, and so, you know, I like to not have sleeves a lot of the time. Are these drawstrings real? Oh, they are. These are real drawstrings, but it also has an elastic on the inside, but it's not super tight, so comfortable. I like them, I like it. The bottoms fit fine. It has pockets, it has pockets. And it also has this little square logo thing with the straight face. I don't, is that a brand? I don't know, but whatever. Now, as for the top, this is not a small. Like, what are, what are you doing, Romley? This is not a small, this is too big for me. Um, it was very obviously loose. I think something about the elastic just makes things naturally, or maybe because of the elastic and the fact that it's kind of cinched at the waist, maybe they feel they have to use more fabric and make it give it kind of that bubble look or something, but this is not a small, guys. Like, get it together. If it well enough to wear, I'm just gonna keep it and wear it anyway, but I would have preferred the small to actually have been a small, at least at the top. Just at the top, y'all, for my little titties. I have pretty much the same outfit as the black outfit, but it's this teddy fabric. I love this, it was really cute. I like this brown color. I don't think I have anything brown in my wardrobe, so it's nice to add this um, kind of chocolate, milk chocolate brown. Now that this top, I feel like felt, it fit a little better. And this also has the elastic um, cinched waist area or whatever. 
so I don't know if it's because of the fabric that they actually made this a little more like a small or what but I'm pretty satisfied with the fit of this versus the black one and then the bottoms however I think we're a little snug they're a little small I think I can get away with it I don't know how long that's gonna last though because I feel like once I wash it it might shrink and then it's just gonna be useless but um, so far I like it so we'll see so up next I think this might be my favorite one. This little number right here, oh my God, it's so soft. And it's soft on the inside too. This is like a teddy type fabric and this like pink mauve-ish color, which I already told you, I love this color. And the top is long sleeve. The bottoms are short, which is perfect for me. I don't know exactly what it is, but I really like to have my legs out, but to have my arms kind of covered up. I think, you know, part of it is me being smaller at the top and bigger at the bottom, but I also think part of it is just like nostalgic, like thinking back to when I was a young girl running around in my t-shirt and my panties, you know, after waking up because that's what I slept in. This is perfect for me to just lounge around the house, especially when it's really cold outside. Throw a blanket across my legs if I need to, whip it off if I don't need it. It's so soft, y'all. It's so soft and so comfortable. I love it. And then the color is just so cute. I love it. Next, I have another softy. This brown number. This is more of like a, a light chestnut. I don't know, y'all. But um, again, very soft. This is, it actually looks like a teddy bear. Like if you wanna look like a teddy bear, you want this outfit. The top is long sleeve, the bottom is sweatpants. This is giving me like straight up bear costume vibes. But when I put it on, I was kind of surprised by how cute it was. The only thing I feel like these pants are missing are pockets. Why are there any pockets? In, like, wouldn't you look at this and think that there are pockets on the sides? Like, no, no pockets. So that sucks. Very soft, very comfortable. You know, I love the long sleeve. I love the way it fits. It's stylish, but comfortable. Hopefully it doesn't shrink in the wash. In the comments below, I need your help. So I am very basic when it comes to my shoe game. My shoe game is terrible, y'all. I Honestly, I'm the type of girl I'd be okay with just wearing slides and flip flops and slippers like for the rest of my life. But I need to leave the house at some point and I'd rather have shoes that go nicely with my outfits. So if you guys have any suggestions on shoes that I should purchase, maybe like some casual sneakers, some heels, some boots, anything like that, please drop it in the comments below. Also, let me know what you think of the clothes that I got. What did you like? What you didn't like? What were the hits? What were the misses? All right, so that's all I have for you guys for this haul, but don't forget I'm doing two more, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't miss that, if you haven't already. But um, that's all I have for you guys today, and until my next video, see you in the next one.